I'm Jeff Chandler for the Events Calendar. WooCommerce is one of the most popular e-commerce solutions for WordPress, so it comes as no surprise that WooCommerce, with all of its extensions and capabilities, can add tons of useful functionality to your site. At some point, you might want to extend WooCommerce's functionality beyond your online store to sell tickets to events on your WordPress site. Well, that's where we come in. The Events Calendar products integrate seamlessly with WooCommerce, so setup is easy. Today, we'll show you how to get started. The best way to sell tickets to your events with WooCommerce is by incorporating the following plugins, the Events Calendar, Event Tickets, and Event Tickets Plus. Both the Events Calendar and Event Tickets are free, but you need a premium Event Tickets Plus license to unlock the WooCommerce capabilities. The good news is that Event Tickets Plus comes WooCommerce ready. To get started, make sure to have at least one payment option enabled under WooCommerce Settings. So as you'll see, we'll go to WooCommerce, we'll click on Settings, visit the Payments tab, and one of these will have to be enabled. And for this demonstration, I have Check Payments enabled. And the setup process is fairly simple. And once that's completed, you'll notice a Manage tab on the right hand side in case you want to manage or change anything with those settings. Now WooCommerce provides helpful guidance shown next to each payment method listed. You can also check out the settings in the other tabs where you can review options related to attendees and the emails they receive. Customers get emails throughout the checkout process including order confirmation, canceled or refunded order, and new account creation. When adding tickets to the mix, customers can also receive tickets via email. Now you're ready to start creating tickets for your events. Once you add an event to your calendar, you can use either the Classic Editor or the Block Editor to add your ticket. In this example, we'll use the Block Editor, which you can activate under Event, Settings, General. So we're already under Events, so we'll click Settings, then we'll General is the first tab displayed. Scroll down to where you see Editing. You'll see Activate Block Editor for Events. Check mark that box. Save the changes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new event and from here you'll see the block editor where you can add a title, you can add different various details to your event and if you scroll down and you click on this you'll see an add tickets button. You'll see options like ticket price, sale duration, there's even an option to collect additional attendee information down here. You can set some of these options where you can collect t-shirt size or meal choice or whatever other info you need to gather from your guest. And this is a very intuitive way of configuring tickets and events without a cumbersome UI or user interface. So what else can you do with the events calendar plus WooCommerce? Well, you can use a widget shortcode to display your event anywhere on your site or embed the calendar on a WordPress page or post. And if you sell both tickets and products with WooCommerce, you can sell tickets directly from the WooCommerce page with the help of some additional code. You can also display your tickets in the WooCommerce shop alongside your products. Now we love using WooCommerce in tandem with tickets because it creates a consistent process for both the site owner and the customer. You can also easily manage all of your orders and attendees for your events right in the WordPress dashboard. For more tips on how to use the events calendar with WooCommerce, please check out the eventscalendar.com.